Well, today we have a chance to get through to another Champions League semi-final and the second consecutive FA Cup final in our short stint at Arsenal. Can we do it? Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017 and part 11 of Season 3 of Life After Wenger. And today, we have the Champions League quarterfinal second leg, which is pretty much just a mopping up job against AS Monaco. And then we have the FA Cup semi-final against Everton. Unfortunately, it's looking like the Premier League has slipped away from our grasp. West Ham beat us 2-0 in the last match. Both goals coming in uh, at a time in the 90th minute. Uh, very, very disappointing, meaning we're 10 points behind Man United with 5 games to go, unless they absolutely capitulate, which is, is not looking likely. Um, yeah, uh, unfortunately our two-year reign as Premier League champions will come to an end in the next few matches. But second place, still a very good season, and it'll be interesting to see if we can actually beat our points totals from uh, last year. I don't think we're going to be... Well, we could beat last year, uh, but we should be looking to beat the year before's tally. Anyway, let's have a look at the team for today. We've got Petr Cech in goal, Bellerin, Koscielny, Van Dijk and Shaw in defence. We've got Kovacic and Barkley in midfield with Lukaku, Firmino and Sanchez starting behind. Robert Lewandowski up front. So let's get into it. Um, we're 4-1 up, so we should be looking to to do this quite easily, really. Uh, I think I'd be very, very disappointed if we if we went out. Well, I would be very dif disappointed. It's as simple as that. Um, yeah. Sanchez into the middle. He has Lukaku and well, good save by Subasic there. Um, Sanchez now Firmino and Lukaku makes it 1-0 his 25th goal of the season he's scoring a few goals out on the wing uh, recently which is very very impressive um, considering he's just an out and out striker but there we go 1-0 and that has virtually sealed the tie now because they need to score 4 goals just to take us to extra time so yeah we should be fine Lewandowski Almost made it 2-0. He's been playing quite poorly recently. After scoring seven goals in three games, he's scored none in the next three so far. So, um, yeah. Hopefully he'll be able to score today, though, and end any doubts. Here's Danny Welbeck. Oh, dear. Oh, Castellejo. He scored in the first leg. Um, be interesting to keep an eye on the Real Madrid Man United match. Morata scoring in the first minute for them. Um, be in oh for goodness sake. Um, yeah, just somebody messaging us, and I know that they're going to message it quite a few times. Bellerin, uh, Firmino, two nil. Uh, his 14th goal of the season. Now, I think he's been quite a hit this season. Obviously, he's had a, a couple of injury problems, but. Uh, he's done exactly what we needed him to do and that score from midfield he's done a lot better than um, Mesut Ertel was doing so I'm very very happy with Firmino here's Barkley now Kovacic, Lukaku, Bellerin but 2-0 away from home against Monaco that's a, a very good result so far um, that's a bad tackle from Bellerin and he's going to be sent off Bellerin is going to be out of the first leg of the semi-final. That's a big moment. Firmino is going to come off. Callum Chambers is going to come on. That's a big moment for him as well. Champions League quarter-final, second leg. Uh, Callum Chambers comes on. Lukaku's made a 3-0 low, and surely there's no stopping us now. They have to score seven goals to send us out of the Champions League. Romelu Lukaku with his second. Maybe a wide target man is... is what his new calling is going to be. Maybe move Walcott up front when Lewandowski's not playing well. Um, but Morata has put Real Madrid 2-0 up against Man United. That's an interesting one. Uh, we've already beaten my, uh, Real Madrid this season as we win the groups. Falco has just, uh, just missed. I can't believe he's actually still playing. You know, we're three years into the future now. Um, Koscielny now check. Koscielny, Chambers, Lukaku, 
Hmm. So I don't know how I feel about that Bellerin being sent off. You know, that's kind of scuppered our chances a little bit. Obviously, this game is very much well and truly won. Um, so I'm not worried about this game. Sanchez into the middle and Barkley has made it for his 16th goal of the season. I don't quite know what happened there. The ball bounced around a little bit too quickly. Uh, it looked like Jorge um, tried to head it out and it went onto the foot of Barkley who just absolutely smashed it into the top corner. And 70 minutes gone now. Uh, we're 8 1 up on aggregate. Danny Welbeck has just scored. Um, well, how many goals was that? Was that 22 goals this season? What a season Danny Welbeck's had in France. Let's have a look at him. Just quickly, uh, he scored four Champions League goals, 19 Liga 1 goals. That is unbelievable. What a season he's had. Obviously, he didn't play for us for, for nearly three years, pretty much. And he's. He's found himself in France. I'm really happy for him. Really, really happy for him. Well done, Danny Welbeck. He's got an assist there. Killian Mbappe, a lot of talk about him this summer. Um, people talking about uh, world record bids or whatever. But he hasn't been that impressive on Football Manager. And looking at his scout reports, he's not that impressive a player. But Football Manager doesn't know everything, of course. Uh, but we're 4-2 up here, was conceding a couple of goals has took the shine off it somewhat, but 8-3 uh, is a terrific, terrific performance. Kovacic, now Akpom, Barkley, Kovacic again. Mbappe, now Stuararo, Lamar, and that is full time, we're through to the Champions League semi-final, that's all we could have asked for, uh, to be quite honest with you. I didn't expect a 4-2 victory. Uh, we'll issue him a warning. Lukaku, top of the pops, apparently. Which is good, so I shall see you for the FA Cup semi-final and we can see if we can make it through to our first final of the season. Time for the Champions League draw. Three English teams here and Real Madrid. Who put Man United out? We could have had four English teams in the semi-final. West Ham, what a performance they've had in the Champions League this year. They've just absolutely thumped Atletico Madrid and they beat uh, Wolfsburg in the first knockout round and came through a group containing the likes of uh, Roma, uh, Tel Aviv and Porto. So they have had a very good Champions League campaign so far. Semi-final for them. Hopefully that's where they're going to... Well, maybe not. If they're not playing us, I'd like to see them in the final. Anyway, Arsenal. First name out of the hat. Who are we playing? Real Madrid. So it's going to be Tottenham versus West Ham in the other semi-final. A possibility of a North London Champions League final. Wow. What a draw that is. Three London teams in the semi-final. That is insane. I don't think that's going to happen in three years' time. But let us know down in the comments if you think West Ham are going to get to a Champions League semi-final anytime soon. A couple of changes to tell you about for the FA Cup semi-final. Lauren Koscielny is out for... Uh, a couple of matches with suspension and Hector Bellerin is actually injured so uh, he's out for seven days so Callum Chambers comes in at right back with delight at centre back everything else is unchanged let's get into it the FA Cup semi-final um, yeah this could be uh, a big match for us you know we are the FA Cup holders we want to hold on to our title um, and it's it's been a very very successful time at Arsenal we're still not guaranteed to win a trophy this season, um, which would be a very, very disappointing year. And, well, that is going to make a bit of a difference. Tarashaj has just scored for Everton in the 10th minute, the 1-0 up in this semi-final. Uh, we went to sleep there. It looked like Rojic had uh, played the initial ball through. Ah, 1-0 after 10 minutes. Everton looking good so far. Shutting us out. Here's Kovacic now. Firmino. Is this the chance? Alexis Sanchez and Lukaku. Oh, he's just missed it. Wow. Sanchez into the middle. Chambers. Now Barkley. In talks of a new four-year contract with Ross Barkley. Against his former club, remember, as well. Here's Czech. Now Delight. Chambers. Lukaku. 
Barkley, Lukaku again. He has Barkley forward to Sanchez and Lewandowski. Chambers and Barkley puts it in the back of the net. Speak of the devil. He has levelled for us his 17th goal of the season. Callum Chambers with the assist there from right back. And he's going to be getting a few games uh, coming up. Obviously, the Champions League semi-final he's going to be playing in um, against Real Madrid uh, in the home tie, at least. And, you know, he, he could nail down a position in the team in the next few matches if uh, if he does well. And Tarashaj has made it 2-1. Who is this guy? He's just scored his eighth goal of the season. Shani Tarashaj, uh, Rojic with the assist once again and 2-1 Everton. Mmm, I thought we were going to get back into it and start dominating the game. Tarashaj again, he has uh, Lukaku on the, the counter-attack. What was that? That is not what we need right now. 55 minutes gone. He's having a rubbish game. So is Alexis Sanchez. He's going to come off for order two run. And I think we're going to put Jack Wilshire in behind the striker. I think we're going to make sweeping changes to this lineup. Um, Yeah, I just... I just think we've been absolutely awful so far. And three changes, freshen it up a bit. Try and get through to the final. I'd be very disappointed to go out. Two ran, here's Akpom. Lost it. Chambers. Barkley, now order two ran. Just not good enough, unfortunately. We just haven't been clinical enough and Tarashaj should have sealed it for Everton there. Check very, very risky with his uh, distribution there. Virgil van Dijk is going to get sent off, is he? Oh, no. <laughs> this has been an absolute disaster. Um, I mean, Wilshire goes into defence now. Oh, what a disaster this semi-final has been and oh, we've come so near yet so far we've lost the dots and well only a couple of minutes to go delight now Lukaku can he get it forward to Ran Chambers that is full time Everton are through to the final of the FA Cup we our, our defence, uh, sorry about that, our defence of the FA Cup has gone to the semi-final, but it will go no further. We are out of the FA Cup, and we only really have one trophy to play for now. That is incredibly disappointing. Man United also went out of the FA Cup 3-0 to West Ham, who thumped us in the AFL Cup final last year uh, on their way to winning that. And they're having a terrific season. They could get through to Champions League final as well. What a season they've had. Third in the Premier League. Looking very, very good. So, Man United. We were hoping that they... Oh, actually. Oh, that's, that's our schedule. I was thinking Man United lost uh, a, a match recently. But they've lost the last two matches. Hopefully their morale is shred. And they're running, they've got three away games, so I guess they, they could lose three more games. But we're going to need them to lose three games and draw one if we're to have any chance. So they need to basically only win one of their last five games. If they win one of them, they are champions. Anyway, um, yeah, that is going to be that for this episode. I was wondering whether I'd, uh, I had another match to show you. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the Middlesbrough and Real Madrid game in the next episode. Um, I basically keep showing the Premier League until it's mathematically impossible to win it. And then we'll play Real Madrid and Stoke, I guess, as well um, in the episode after that. But yeah, if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me and for the channel. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.